does Kyle Shanahan favor offensive players? Like, look, he says he loves drafting defensive linemen in round one, and that's true. But beyond that, does he favor offensive players? Absolutely. How? Well, when you look at how he mortgages his future by trading for half your rental players, Emmanuel Sanders, left tackle Trent Williams, and then you double down on that, on what he does in free agency and who he resigns as his homegrown talent, like George Kittle. We still don't know what's going on with Fred Warner. You kind of can put the pieces together, right? And you take it a step further. He is an offensive guy at the end of the day. I mean, you cannot honestly tell me that he does not favor offense, right? Yeah. Come on. Come on! I mean, every year in the in the offs in the uh, in the second round, it's a wide receiver. <laughs> it's like they don't have a need, and he keeps doing it with his favorite position. Yeah, exactly. So it's it's interesting to say to see how all these other players are rumored in trade discussions, but when you talk about the core foundational players, it's always the defensive players. I mean, obviously, you're not going to get rid, rid of George Kittle. I think he's untouchable. I think Fred Warner's untouchable. I think. Bosa is untouchable, although I think we would, you know, some of us would disagree on that, but just which is fine. But it's funny how those players are mentioned and not George Kittle. I mean, Fred Warner is the best at his position, so why is George Kittle not in discussion? If you get George, I mean, I'm just saying. Obviously, it's I'm not saying it's going to happen. And George Kittle is an All Pro; he's the best. He's untouchable. If there's one untouchable player, it's George Kittle. But I'm just, it's interesting to point out that you know. We talk about the mortgaging the future with these half year, one year rental players on the offense side of the football, and they do absolutely nothing on the defense side of the football, and maybe mortgaging these guys as players. It's just interesting to to point out. I don't know. I mean, look at all the wide receivers they've drafted. Look at all the running backs they've invested in. Right, and they have no corners under under contract. They're like whatever, like corner. I mean, you can get corners. I'll find some corners. Like God forbid they ran out of wide receivers. It would be. I mean, I don't know. I think it's pretty funny. Like, oh, snap. We don't have any corners. I guess we should get some of those. Here. Oh, that's an important position, I guess. Yeah, we need that. We need cornerback. Yeah, huh? Oh, my God. <laughs> Just dawned on me. Maitland Eagle says correct hand placement and understanding leverage are more important than arm length. I agree, and I think yeah. Rayshon Slater has both of those.